hello, hello. Anybody out there? Just let me put this right over here. <sighs> hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Let me share this. Let's see if someone is out there. Mm. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see if someone is out there. Please let me know if you if you hear me, if you see me correctly. I want to share this. Okay, two. Um, let me share this to wait let me check this out what is this going on a ver mm. <laughs> I don't know what, what did I put over there who's out there let me, let me see who is out there I want to share this with some people um, let me share in um, Share, 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 share. Let's find out who is out there. Check it out on Messenger. Here, share it over here also. Let me know if someone is out there. Ah, Liliana, ¿cómo estás? Buenos días. Gracias por conectar, hermosa. ¿Cómo están todos? Buenos días. Adriana Ruiz Flores desde Guadalajara, Jalisco. Kind of noisy today. A lot of people. <laughs> I don't know what is going on here out here in my home, but let me check this out. Let me share this. Mm. Oh. That's your guidance system. Pay attention. Good morning, everybody. Let me know. Let me know who is out there so we can start this live. I'm going to talk about being emotional aware emotionally aware which is equal to feeling whatever feeling that you have is your guidance system so you have to pay attention to that okay so let me share this right over here and let's see if someone else is over there out there so if you are watching this please help me to share this to some people out there Today is Wednesday, and I'm going to be talking about self-awareness, emotionally awareness. Thank you. So, do you hear me? Si me oye, ¿quién está por ahí? Bessie, ¿cómo estás? Hello, how are you? Hi, guys. How are you today? Hello, Dharma. How are you today? Thank you for tuning in. And, well, let me, let me see who is out there and... Let's talk and see who is out there so we can start this live. Um, okay. So how is everybody? How is everybody doing today? How do you feel, guys? Are you happy today? Are you feeling good? How are you feeling? Tell me what are your feelings? How are you feeling today? If you are having trouble with something, with someone, if you are not feeling connected, if you are feeling kind of disconnected, if you are having today a tough day or a rough day, I don't know, tell me where are you from? I am in Mexico, Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico has been raining a lot, actually a lot of storms and really, really 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 hectic but it's beautiful out there actually it is really sunny and it's awesome so it's like the pink panther remember that when it came just this big cloud and it's like the big storm and all this and then the sun goes out and it's awesome so beautiful so hello ronnie fer como estas fernanda como que gusto verte por aquí estefan thank you so much Show me some love. Tell me if it's uh, if it's tuning okay, if you're listening correctly. Hi, Anthony. How are you today, honey? Thank you so much for joining. Gladys, ¿cómo estás, hermosa mujer? Qué gusto verte. 
How is everybody doing today? Are you feeling good? Are you feeling happy? Are you feeling sad? How are you feeling? All, all of our emotions are absolutely, absolutely welcome. Gladys, puertorriqueña de mi corazón, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo te va mi vida hermosa? I am happy I'm hearing you. Oh, thank you so much. I am so happy to hear you guys. I'm so happy to be here with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining. Please share it. Ah, let me put this um, over here. I forgot my coffee. I need to go for my coffee. I want coffee. You know, first coffee. Yes, because sad things, happy things, beautiful things, awful things, terrible things, everything goes with coffee. You know, do you agree with, my, with me? Do you agree? Do you agree with me? Okay. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm going to have fun. Yes, because I want to. So, let's be emotional. That's our guidance system. Okay. So, I am waiting to everybody to jump in so we can start talking about this. <sighs> and you know why I'm talking about this? Because I haven't have I have been Helen. I don't know if this is correct. Todo bien, sí, todo bien, Gladys. ¿Cómo estás, hermosa? Ah, this few days has been have been had been kind of um hectic, kind of frustrating, overwhelming, mm. stressing, sad, everything, yeah. So anyway, so let's just start this. Well, we have been starting. Let me check who is here. Okay, Gladys, thank you so much. Okay. Mari Carmen Cadena, ¿cómo estás, belleza de mujer? ¿Cómo te va? ¿Cómo te va, hermosa? Buenos días. ¿Cómo te va? ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Todo bien? Bueno, pues hoy vamos a hablar de estar conscientes acerca de cómo nos sentimos. Cómo, y cómo nos sentimos puede ser triste, happy, alegre, feliz, desesperada, frustrada y todas esas cosas. So, when you are feeling sad, when you are feeling Uh, happy when you are feeling emotionally, you know, like crying all the time and feeling a little bit, you know, disconnected and all that. Well, that's also, that's also. Thank you, Gladys. That is our self, our self guidance system. Yes. Hello, Joanna. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tuning, guys. Lia Bonita. Hello, how are you? Yolanda, hermosa. Muy buenos días, mujer hermosa. ¿Cómo estás, Daniela? ¿Cómo estás? Buenos días. How are you feeling today? I want to know in your comments, how are you feeling? If you're feeling happy, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling chippy, crying all the time. And if you are, um, I don't know, how are you feeling? That's... That's that's good. I mean, you can you can tell me anything, okay? So, I don't know what I'm doing here, but anyway. Sigamos. Sigamos por aquí. Well, I'm talking about emotionally being emotionally aware because when we are emotionally aware, we can choose what we want to do. If we are going with the life without paying attention to our feelings, then we are kind of lost. You are calm and happy. Qué bueno, amiguita. Me da mucho gusto. Dorothy, thank you for joining. I'm so happy that you are here, guys. Thank you so much. Well, this awareness that we have, this system that we have is built for us. You know, we are amazing 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 um 
beings, you know, think about the computers, you know, computers have this great technology and they have, oh, they, they, it looks like they are alive, right? And, and sometimes they are very slow and sometimes they are really, really, really good and all of that. And we create the computers. So imagine ourselves like a computer, okay? Sometimes we don't feel really good, sometimes we feel good, sometimes we feel sad, sometimes we feel emotional, and that's okay. And if you are aware of that, if you are aware of your feelings and your emotions, then you are capable of changing whatever you are feeling or whatever you are doing. And don't get me wrong, I mean, it doesn't mean that you can um, just get rid of the feeling. I mean, it's not like, okay, yeah, I'm sad, but I'm going to be fine. Yeah, no, no, that's not the point. The point is, if you are aware of the way you are feeling, then you can change that. Okay, example. The screamings that you can hear on the top, those are my kid with her with their friends, all playing X voice box. Um, he's kind of not well. <laughs> he's having health troubles, health issues. Uh, the past few days, almost 15 days or something like that, and he's not getting better. So. I have been having these feelings, you know, frustrated feelings, uh, sad feelings, crying feelings. Sometimes I find myself crying for, I don't know, several months. But that doesn't scare me, you know. It's like, you know, I am aware the way I feel. I am aware that he's not good. He's having troubles with his health. I love him so very much and what I want him to be is I want him to be healthy and I want him to be happy and not to suffer and to be, you know, capable of growing up without having that health issue, you know. So when I find myself with that situation, when I find myself that I am crying and that I, am, I don't feel I, as a mom, I feel frustrated and that I want to change things and I want him to be good. Well, my recommendation is don't try to push away your feelings. Don't try to push away the way that you are actually thinking uh, in that moment. Maybe you want just to punch someone in the face or to scream to God, why is this happening? Why, why is my kid this or that? Why is he... Yes, again, mm, you know, you can count on me. I know, beautiful. Yeah, he's fine. Don't worry. He's not that bad. I mean, we have been struggling with his health condition, guys, for you to know. Uh, for about two years now, Mari Carmen, dos años, yeah? Two years, we have been uh, struggling with his health. He has something like myself. Yeah, good. Genes, right? And he has been really good for the past two years actually he has been really really good but now he's having this kind of ups and downs not very not very ups more downs and yeah thank you gladys i can make a decision to push yourself through the storm exactly that's the point so once we uh we notice that he has been yeah, he has been having these health conditions again. You know, we, my, my ex-husband and I, his father went to the doctor. He made all the studies that we needed to do for about like uh, three weeks or so. And we have been doing stuff to make him feel better and get better and better and better. Um, but we haven't had the results that we want. And so today, in a few hours, I have two meetings with another two doctors and tomorrow with other doctors and the next week maybe to do a study in a hospital again before going to back to school we want him to be uh, you know very strong when he go back to school in august 21st or something like that so <clears throat> all this situation as a mother you know is impotent for me and and i feel overwhelmed and i want to connect with you guys and feel happy and you know to make a post and go on with my coaching and, and and to help other people as myself that are feeling a little bit disappointed or ha or are having um depressed situations or or that you know because i call myself happiness and healing coach and when i find myself with this uh, 
situation. I say, yes, I am a happiness and healing coach. Yes, I do. I am. I choose to be happy and I want to be happy and I want to feel uh, in balance and I want to feel connected with myself. So that's my choice. But when ha what happens when I see my kid crying and, I, and, and he says, why is this happening to me, mom? I'm, why, why am I suffering this again? And I want to be healthy and I want to eat everything that I want and I want to I don't want I don't want to feel weak and I want to grow older and all that stuff you know like a mom you feel like hugging them and, and just being strong for for them but you cannot get rid of those feelings and it's not your call to feel immediately well but being self aware of what you are feeling gives you the strength to move on. So when you find yourself that you are kind of sad or, or you are crying like I was on Monday, I couldn't stop crying, you know. Those, that day I was crying all day long. I was like, come on, Adriana, stop crying. I mean, it's okay. He's going to be fine. But I accept that I was feeling that way. I was feeling frustration and I was feeling impotent and I wanted just to <laughs> I wanted to punch someone in the face and that was my emotion in that very moment and I find out that when you acknowledge that when you say you know what I am going to be fine so I'm going to give myself permission of crying I'm going to give myself the permission to feeling not good I'm going to feel the, 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 this emotion and I'm going to cry Because it's okay to cry and it's okay not to feel good. And if you try to push it away, you're going to be like frustration, being frustrated more, you know, more frustration. Because you're like, yes, I'm a superwoman and I'm going to be just fine and, and everything is going to be fine. And yeah, but you're just pushing it away. So what I have learned during these years is that you're, you're, Awareness of your emotions, being aware of what you are feeling, is the first step for getting better, for feeling a little bit better. So if you're, your emotionally awareness is your first step of pushing yourself a little bit better. Let me put it in another way. If you think about vibrations, if you think about universe we are all universe and we are source energy and the only thing that source energy has for us is positive feelings and beautiful feelings and happiness happy happy thoughts and happy feelings you know so when you are feeling bad when you are feeling sad when you are not feeling all in your center you're Source energy is not going to come here to save you. You know what I mean? It's not going to come down to your bad emotion, to your sadness. It's not going to come and say, okay, I'm going to feel sad with you. It's not, your, it's not like mom, you know? It's not like us mothers or your mother that when you're feeling sad brings you coffee or, or a cup of tea or a chicken soup. And it's like, you know, oh, Adriana, everything is going to be fine. Don't worry, I'm here with you. And, and she cries with you or you cry with your son like I, like I did. Source energy is not going to do that. Uh-uh. Source energy is going to say, you know what? You need to uplift yourself by yourself because I'm going to keep myself on the high vibration. And it's your choice if you want to stay down there or you want to go up. So you have two choices. You can... Cry and cry and cry and cry and cry, which is okay. And we mustn't deny our emotion. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You can do two things. Deny your emotion. That means you are going to be crying and you're going to say, okay, I'm very stupid. I, I shouldn't be crying. Yeah. Oh, come on, Adriana. You can be fine. Get out. Get out of there. You can do this. Yeah. But you, can, you, you just can't do that. You just can't do that. But you can choose to be aware of that emotion and you can choose to say okay I'm going to cry which I was crying you know like all day long <sighs> and I said okay 
Adriana, you okay, you are going to be fine. So I meditate a little bit. I listen to some beautiful audios. And then I feel a little bit much better. So I just start my climbing to the my my I'm a better emotion of you know I'm not going to jump from feeling sad to feel super happy. So I need to go from one step to the other. So I feel a little bit better. And then afterwards I was, you know, like okay, maybe doing something some work or designing an email or doing a post, whatever. And then I find out myself crying again. So I said, okay, I'm going to do this again. I am, I'm going to acknowledge my feeling. I see you. Okay. It's okay, Adriana. It's okay to cry. I mean, your, your son is having trouble. It's okay. You're going to be fine. I'm going to cry for myself, but I'm going to go up because I want to feel good. I want to feel good. So what do I have to do to feel good? So then you are going to start making yourself a little bit better so you're going to go up into another uh another dimension of your sadness into something a little bit more aware and something a little bit more happy so that's what you have to do so as i said if you are not in a good way in a good feeling hi andres oh this is andres mira lo que se encontró una paletita That's guapo. Di hola. <laughs> That's Andres. That's my handsome boy. That's the one. My reasons, my feelings, everything for him right now. And, you know, just to see him make me feel better. You know? Trying to connect himself to the best that he can. And, you know, finding himself when he's crying, he's not feeling okay. Actually working it out, you know, like saying, okay, I'm going to take the lollipop and I'm going to go and say hi to my mom and, and she's going to be fine and we are going to be fine. A ver, ¿qué dices ahí? Poder controlar y someter las emociones a la obediencia es una gran destreza. Ay, sí, Gladys, es cierto. To be able to control and to uh, be aware. Um, yeah, to, to make our emotions work for us, not... The emotions work through us, you know. It's it's more like that. Gladys, thank you so much. <laughs> See, so yes, every single day, every single day has its moments, and we can have situations during our days, you know, that are bringing us to different feelings and different emotions. And bad emotions and bad thinking is not all the way wrong. If you're aware of that, if you're aware of your feelings, if you're aware of your emotions, then you're aware and then you can move away from that. Not for pushing the feeling, but to controlling the feeling and choosing to be a little bit better. That's what I want you to think about, okay? So if you have a situation like I do right now that we have been struggling for, I don't know, two or three weeks And we are going to be having a little bit more of these doctors and all that stuff for the next two or three weeks. Of course, you're tired. And of course, you are um, sad. And of course, you are in a very sensitive place, right? But that doesn't mean that you have to allow or you can't allow yourself to feel that way all day, every single day, you know? And that doesn't mean neither that you can Uh, get rid of the feeling just because you say it. So being emotional aware as your guidance system, every single moment of your day can make you a better person, you know, because you are trying to or you are choosing to get into the next level of your emotions. I don't know if I'm clear. I mean, if I, does this make sense? I mean, tell me if this makes sense, guys, please. And being myself, a happiness and healing coach, and feeling bad doesn't make me a bad person. Just reminds me how important it is for me to connect with myself, to connect with my soul, and to say, you know what? I am feeling sad. I am kind of uh, frustrated or I am angry. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to meditate or I'm going to take a walk or I'm going to listen to some music that I love or take a coffee or a tequila, which is obviously a good 
way to feel much better. And to remember that this awareness of my emotions are that signal that I need for me every single moment to feel better, to feel in balance, to feel in alignment. So I'm not going to feel in alignment or balance or happy as quickly as I think about that. But just thinking that source energy is always there for me. Source energy is always taking care of me and my son and my daughter. And being aware that source energy is not going to come down to me to be sad with me. That, on the other hand, is just up here and telling me, you know, Adriana, you can do this. Andres is going to be fine. Then you have to do whatever it takes to make you feel a little bit better. That's the point. Make yourself a little bit better. Whatever it takes to make you feel a little bit better. Uh, Andres, you are in my prayers. Also you, my friend. Oh, yes. Thank you, Gladys. We are going to be fine. Andres is not in the same place that he was two years ago. Okay? Thank you for your prayers. He's much, much better, much, much better right now. But, of course, we are taking our hands in the clay. Mari Carmen, totally. It is more about acknowledging a feeling and handling it than controlling it and handling it. It's not controlling, it's accepting and letting it flow and discharge it. It and sense, um, and then set a positive goal for you feeling better. Exactly. But you have to go one step at a time, Mari Carmen. You cannot go, uh, um, as I said, feeling you know, crying and then just like, oh, I am happy. That will be make you feel bipolar. You know, it's not like that. If you are feeling sad, allow yourself to, to, to cry or, and then, you know, decide that you want to feel much better. And then you just say, okay, I'm going to feel much better. And as I did on Monday, I talked to Andres and I said, you know what? Uh, I, I don't feel much better. So I need to take the car and I want to go and you know just fool around and uh talk to you later so he said okay mom I love you so much let's don't disappear and say no I will I will not don't worry so I just went to a store and 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 just fool around you know be in contact with people listen to the music of that store and I actually bought a really beautiful wallet <laughs> that says I, I didn't Where's my bag? Well, anyway, I show it to you later in a post that says, awesome. And I was like, yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful it's hashtag awesome. And that makes me laugh. So with just that stupid thing, you know, and then the phone rings and, and it was Andres. And it was like, mom, are you okay? I mean, you, you've been out from like an hour and a half or something. Are you okay? And I said, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, time passes and I didn't notice. Yeah, I'm fine. You know what? I found this beautiful wallet that says hashtag awesome. And he said, mom, buy it, buy it. You're going to feel much better. Buy it. <laughs> and I said, yes, I'm going to buy it. So I jumped from the sadness, the crying to, you know, I want to take action. I want to go and take a ride in my car and go to store. That makes me a little bit better. And then I just flew around for one hour or something. And then I found this wallet and then I bought the wallet. I received the call from my son, which is source energy. You know what I mean? You know, we are connection, vibrations, vibrational. And then came back home, fixed dinner, and we watched the movie together. So that's it, you know, and that was, you know, two or three hours of my day. So this is my message for today, guys. You don't have to be in a perfect place. You don't have to have the great finances. You don't have to have the beautiful, amazing body or a healthy, healthy, amazing body, or you, your kids or your husband or wife are having a troubled situation and you are you are, you are allowed to feel bad. You are allowed to feel disconnected and unhappy and sad and cry. And, and that's awesome. Be aware of that feeling. Take it by the horns, that feeling, that emotion, and choose to feel happy. Choose to, to live in balance. Choose to... Get yourself a little bit better because source energy is not 
not, it's not going to come down to you to tell you what to do or to cry with you. No one is going to save you. You are your only saver. And things happen for a reason. And bless the contrast. Because that emotion, that situation, that, uh, that day or that uh, health condition or whatever you are feeling or passing through is showing you a better way to live in and is uplifting you. And as I said in another of my posts, life is, I mean, you are evolving every single minute. And you can just evolve, you know, just life passing by, or you can choose to evolve with life and be aware of that. Be aware of your emotions and be aware of your life and creating the, the life that you really want. And remember that we are vibrations and, and higher vibrations brings beautiful, amazing things. And it's not that you are, um, it's not that life is punishing you because of whatever you did or no, 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 that's not, that's not true. It's life, it's your pet and it's Andres' pet to be the way he is because he has to learn something. He has to learn to be happy. He has to learn how to take care of himself. And he's an amazing human being. And God or the universe or no one is punishing him. I mean, he's an awesome teenager. And, and he's, he has passed through really difficult situations from the last two years. And the only result of that is making him an amazing, beautiful, amazing soul, an amazing human being. And he's doing the best that he can. So I'm going to send you big kisses. Thank you for tuning. Thank you for being here. Gracias, Mari Carmen, Gladys, all the people that is right here and sending me all your good vibes and your prayers for my beautiful love son. And I'm going to be telling you how is he doing, okay, and how is he handling the situation. He's going to be fine. I am absolutely absolutely convinced that he's going to be just fine because he deserves to be healthy and happy and grow older and, and be strong and you know he deserves all the amazing things so thank you for tuning in let me see this life is a fight that we need to win every day is a test that you need to pass everything is correct laddies and if you think it more than a fight or a struggle, think of like a journey, you know, and that you can find stones or you can find, you know, like a high heel or you can sometimes feel like you have to stop because there's a sign on the stop, you know, and that's life. It's not that you are not moving, it's that the way you choose to move and the way you choose to feel. So be aware of your emotions. Don't get rid of them. You don't need to get rid of them. You need to embrace them. And you need to love yourself. And it doesn't matter if you are feeling a negative emotion. That doesn't make you a bad person. It's just making you notice about that you are feeling sad. And that's okay. So jump do whatever you have to do. Be aware of that emotion. Embrace it. Hug yourself. Breathe. Take a walk. Meditate. Whatever you need. And choose to be happy. And if you need to talk to someone, talk to someone. I mean, I am here. You can send me a message. I know you're there. I can send you a message. And we are here together. Okay? And that's, that's amazing. We are here to help each other. And I love you guys. Thank you for all your prayers. Thank you for all your messages yesterday. Thank you so much. And I will keep you posted, okay? Love you. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.